How's it going, guys? Our video today is about dead cadets' jobs during their internship on board vessels. When I ask Marine Operations students what jobs dead cadets must perform on board ships during their internship, the most common response are to assess dead officers in their day-to-day -day operations of a ship as well as learning all about the art of seamanship. Although these answers are not wrong, there are some other activities required to be performed by dead cadets on almost all types of vessels as part of their internship. Despite these tasks may vary from ship to ship, it'll be helpful for dead cadets to have an accurate idea of the possible responsibilities and jobs they may perform while they are on board ships. The following are some important tasks which complement all the knowledge and skills that cadets must acquire in their 12-month internship on board vessels. First, ship maintenance. All interns are assigned an area for maintenance and upkeep, generally one deck or part of it of the superstructure is assigned to them. The maintenance of that assigned area includes overall cleanliness and reporting of any anormalities within the area. Dead work. Dead cadets must assist the ship's bosun in everyday dead work as part of their internship. Normally, work on deck includes shipping, painting, grinding, which are carried out to maintain the structural integrity of the deck, along with some road work such as splicing, which provides dead cadets with the right knowledge towards good seamanship. Life-saving and firefighting appliances maintenance. The complete maintenance of the life-saving appliances as well as firefighting appliances is extremely important. Generally, their maintenance is part of the third mate's duties and responsibilities. However, this work may be assigned to the interns as part of their training so that they can learn the procedures of noting down spire dates, carrying out repair work, and checking for any defects as well. In the end, that cadets end up learning a great deal about how each equipment functions and how they can be properly maintained. Tank sounding. Almost all dead cadets are asked to check tank sounding on a regular basis. Tank sounding is vital for ensuring the stability of the vessel. The fact that the ship's stability depends on the total ballast being carried makes dead cadets realize the importance of the task given to them. Burden and unburden operations. When vessels go alongside, it's normally all hands on deck, which means that the entire deck personnel must be present at their respective Stations to get the vessel to bear flawlessly. Tag cadets begin at the station doing mainly the physical work. As they get more experience, their tasks switch to a more of a supervisory nature. Poor work and cargo operations. Dead cadets work in port includes assisting the third mate with paperwork such as bond store and crew declaration. In other words, keeping them stamped, signed and ready with a fair number of photocopies. Moreover, that cadet must be also on watch, so their responsibilities include monitoring the cargo being loaded and unloaded, which involve noting down accurate timings of the start and end of loading and unloading 
every time it's carried out. Last but not least, navigation. It is perhaps the most important aspect of the internship of that cadet. This activity is under the guidance and supervision of a certified officer who is almost always the chief mate. That cadets are expected to learn the science and art of navigation, as well as acquiring solid knowledge on celestial navigation, bridge equipment, seamanship, and so forth. Therefore, being in terms more a ship is a matter of pride. So, if cadets are respectful and diligent in their duties, they may be sure that the time they spend on board ships will be on their mind as everlasting memories. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next video.